Hello, friends, and welcome back. It's been a while, and I am here playing with a pedal. That launches today. I just opened it up. It is from Keeley, the Halo Andy Timmons Dual Echo. This, according to Andy, is the first pedal that has been able to replicate what in the past he has used two echoes to do. And when I see what's happening with this, this is the same reason that I am using two echoes on so many of the presets that I'm creating, in particular for the song that I'm working on. There's so much to this. We're gonna call this video a quick overview because this is just way too deep for me to get into uh, after just having opened the box. I have to admit, it, may, it makes me wanna flog myself. I had to, to get the instruction manual out. Each control knob has multiple controls on here. There are four presets, two banks of four presets. You got a channel A and a channel B. You can switch between them, save your presets to each of these banks. But even though it's called a dual echo, you're not going to use both banks simultaneously. You can't do that. You switch between one or the other. But what's inside of here, especially when you turn the rhythm knob to Andy's halo setting, it's basically a very quick slapback delay that if you have it in stereo, it begins in the center with a well-defined delay and then multiple taps of it kind of move away from the center and just envelop you in this wonderful sound that uh, it's kind of what I was digging on just a second ago with a clean tone. It's just... and eight presets that you can fill up with anything from Andy's Halo Rhythm, which uses the multi-taps in a spread. Um, it has an emulation of a bucket brigade, uh, the tape delay, uh, basic quarter note digital and dotted eight. It's just got a lot going on. In addition to the typical controls you would expect, time, feedback, and level. Uh, there's also a modulation that you can put on the delay. And a beautiful... <laughs> ...chorusing effect that is only on the delay. And this is the... I've been using a modulated delay for a couple of years now. I don't like reverb. I never have a guitar tone going without a delay. And it's generally a modulated delay. And this has all the things that I like to do to my delay. It has a saturation control. So if you want to really kind of fatten up the overtones in the delayed signal, give it even more of a tape style saturation, along with some really nice compression on the delays, you can do that. You have a high pass filter and you have a tone control, which is basically a low pass filter. I like to keep my delays between like 350 and 1K or below. Sometimes I'll narrow it down to 350 to 600, 700. Even if you're using a heavily distorted sound, the delays fill up the space as you want them to. They don't get in the way of your fundamental. Um, and you can really kind of crank it up and it feels almost like a ducking delay because your attacks come through, but you've got that nice pad of delay in the background. I'll quickly show you this one delay that I set up for a heavier tone here. <laughs> for a very dark 
saturated compressed lead sound, which can quickly turn to mud if I don't have a delay that still makes that stand out and bring it to the forefront. And this one does it. This is nice. I cannot wait to deep dive into this. You got to check this out. The Andy Timmons Dual Echo called the Halo from Keeley. You know what the build quality is going to be. You know what the sound quality is going to be on this. This is a very, very deep dive. Don't think you're going to take it out to a gig, tweak it on the, on the fly. Spend some time with this. Get all your presets down. You got plenty of room for just about any delay sound that you would want to get out of this. This is what you would expect to have in something like a Helix or an Axe Effect, a big floorboard. This is really just an incredible little box. If you like delays, you will love this. I'll get into all the sounds next time, but for right now, this is what I love. This is what I've been looking for. Get it here at moreguitars.com or come by the store. More music in Evansville, Indiana. See you.